This is going to be a windshield tour of NAS Pensacola, the National Naval Museum, and also the Oak Grove Campground. We have camped there many times. It's on the intercoastal waterway. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a windshield tour. I'm not going to be talking a lot, but I did want to give you some basic directions on how to get to NAS Pensacola. More than likely, you're coming in from I-10. So you'll be looking for the Pine Forest Road exit and take Pine Forest South. About two miles down, you'll connect up with Blue Angel Parkway. It'll be a right turn. Of course, all this is on your GPS, and it's not a big deal. It's pretty much a straight shot. But once you get on Blue Angel Parkway, which I'm on right now, it will take you down and it will dead in at the gate. I should say dead in at the back gate of NES Pensacola. And it's about a eight mile drive down there. So just for a reference point, that was Sorrento Road. And there is a Walmart right there at that intersection. There's also a Target there. There are two gas stations, a Waffle House, a Sonics, and maybe a couple of other things there. Well, as you can see now, Blue Angel Parkway takes you right into the gate, so you certainly cannot miss the gate. And uh, this is the preferred way to come in, if, especially if you're in an RV. The main gate may be a little more difficult with the zigzagging around the uh, security barriers, but it's doable. This is the only gate that uh, allows visitors who do not have uh, base access to come in and access the museum. So the museum is available for the general public. Hey there. The first thing we see on the base is the marina. It's a pretty large marina here. Some of the other things the base is noted for is number one is going to be the Blue Angels. This is the home of the Blue Angels. And they have the National Naval Mu Museum here. Or I should say the National Naval Air Museum here. It's a huge museum. It's open to the public and it's free of charge. Barrancas National Cemetery is here on the base, as is Fort Barrancas, which is a early 1800s fort. It's part of the uh, National Seashore Park, which includes Fort Pickens. Off into the distance, you'll start to see the buildings of downtown Pensacola. This is looking out across Pensacola Bay. And the island to the right that you see out there is Fort Pickens, and that is connected to Pensacola Beach. And speaking of beaches, this is the beach that is part of the campground. It is well over a mile in length. It is uh, sugar sand, just as clean as it can be. And we've camped here many times and frequently, especially in the mornings, you can come out here and there will not be anyone at the beach. You'll have it all to yourself. And this is one of the few beaches in Florida where you can take your dogs. So we liked it for that, uh, to take the dogs out and let them have a swim as well. So we're still on the main road that came right in off of Blue Angel, have not made any turns. And after about two miles, you come up to the Oak Grove Campground, which is going to be on your right. And we'll drive in there and do a tour. Okay, we just turned into the campground. 
and it starts off with site number 12 on the right. So if you're looking for uh, information on a particular site when you're booking online, that's number 14. On the left are the only pull-throughs, and this is number 8. So there's like a circle or a wagon wheel on the left with uh, a number of pull-throughs on that. These were coming by now, 17, 18, 19, are about the only ones with no shade. So in the middle of the summer, they will get very hot right there. On the left, we're coming by number five, which is a nice pull through. Number four is a nice pull through. And these sites have all the amenities. They have their full hookups, they have sewer, they have cable. I'm not sure uh, about Wi-Fi. I do see a Wi-Fi antenna on the bathhouse there. But we haven't camped here in about a little over a year. But the bathhouse is very nice. And off to the right is uh, a short walk down to the beach, probably 50 to 75 yards. And these campsites on the right are what they call waterfront. Number 46 is this one here on the right. And they are not directly on the water, but they're the closest ones to the water. 47 on the right, 48, 49. So those are the ones that uh, I think they'll probably cost you a few more dollars. Some tent camping right there. So the uh, interior roads are not paved. They're gravel. They're Relatively smooth, though. They're just fine for maneuvering. Going to go back through the main entrance again because I, I lost that with my camera. So that's how we entered in right there off of that main road. And we'll go right back in. Office on the right. Camp host right there in front of you under these nice big live oaks. I'll take you up this last little stretch here, 36 on the right, 34 on the left. See, it gets a little bit tight up in here, but all the pads are concrete, so that does make it nice. And that is the drive-through of the Oak Grove Campground. And before I forget, the gate that we came in is referred to as the back gate or the Blue Angel Gate. It is not a 7 by 24 access. It closes in the evenings, I'm not sure what time, 8 p.m., 10 p.m., something like that, and not open all night long. So you'll want to check ahead to make sure you understand the hours before heading on to the base. Now the main gate is what we're going to go out 
and it is open 7 by 24. Well, that's the NES Pensacola windshield tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I have several more of these types of videos coming up in the very near future, so if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already done so, please click that like button. And until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.